right, my friends. Our friend Pebbles at Coalitas Creations is having a challenge, a birthday challenge, actually. And she wants us to decorate a two-inch circle and send that in for her challenge. So we're going to go ahead and do some mini art today. I have a few things laying around on my desk, and so I thought I'd try to incorporate them. As we can see, this has some citrus on it, and we've got a lemon slice here. So I'm going to start with these two things and then see where it goes. I'm going to start by cutting out this circle. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. Once I have it glued down, I can go back around it again. I wanted to be sure to give you a little bit more information about Pebbles giveaway challenge. Again, her channel is Coalitas Creations and it is her hashtag 50 and fabulous birthday challenge. I will link her video in my description box so that you can go and check it out if you'd like to participate. And all she's asking for is a two inch mini circle because she wants to put it in her ATC holder and the pockets of those are about two inches wide. I also wanted to let you know that in this video, I'm going to be sharing some happy mail that I've received and also my outgoing entry for Marianne's Craft Corner. She is having a challenge and the themes are travel, sewing, or fashion. And she wants an ATC and five embellishments. So right after I share my happy mail with you, I'm going to show you what I made, how I made it, and what I'm putting into her bag. Here it is, my friends. What do you think? A nice summery, citrusy, two-inch circle. I'm not sure if she wants us to add our info on the back, but I'll go ahead and write it on there just in case she wants it. And, uh, and there it is. That was really fun to make. Hello, friends. I have received an envelope from our friend Misty of Mystical Misty. And look what a beautiful card it is. It's so pretty and I love birds. That's beautiful. Ah, look, there's some stickers in it. Oh, look at them. Aren't they pretty? I'm gonna be doing some crafting today. Maybe I can use some. It says, thank you so much for joining my birthday challenge. I truly loved everything so much, Misty. That was so kind of you, Misty. Thank you so much for sending me a card and some goodies. Friends, I received another package. I went ahead and I took it out of the envelope. And this is from my friend, Virginia Martin Author. And she sent me, oh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, that's gonna be really fun, hold on. Let me show you this beautiful mixed media piece of paper that she sent, that is gorgeous. It feels like wax paper, um, parchment maybe but it's gorgeous and I love the feeling. Excuse the parakeets, they're competing with me right now. Virginia had messaged me and she said she had seen that I was working on collage and she said she had this book and that she would like to send it to me. And let's have a quick look at it. Oh, beautiful images, you guys. This. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. This is gonna be fabulous. Oh, look at that. These are beautiful images. Thank you so much, Virginia. I'm very much going to enjoy working with this. Look at that. Just gorgeous. I love it. So this is gonna be a lot of fun, you guys. I mean, these are beautiful images. And I'm so thankful that you thought of me and that you sent this my way. This is just, I could just frame some of these. They're beautiful. <laughs> I have a coastal theme in my house. And uh, gosh, these would look great on the walls. So thank you so much, Virginia. I truly appreciate that. Friends, this next project that I'm going to work on is for Marianne's Craft Corner. She is doing a giveaway. And she wants an ATC, which... Most of you probably know this, but ATCs are the same shape as playing cards. So I have a vintage Delta Airlines playing car that, card that I'm going to alter. I've already scuffed it up with my sandpaper just to take the shiny off of it so that glue will adhere very well to it. And then she also wants 
five embellishments, and the themes that she likes are travel, sewing, or fashion. And I have these that I'm going to cut out and most likely use in four of the embellies with a travel theme. And actually, I think I might have found more. Yeah, so I might end up using all of these, although I'm not sure yet. This says, always find time for the things that make you feel happy to be alive. So I'm going to cut this to size to cover the playing card. Since the playing card has rounded corners, I'm going to go ahead and round these. This is not going to be a perfect fit. I'm sure I cut this a little bit smaller, which is perfectly fine. Since I can see that there is a little space around the edges, I want to go ahead and add some ink to the playing card edges. On this piece, you can see that the hello has been cut, but I've got the full word sunshine. This is too large for the card, but I can certainly use that. Now I'm just going to add a few little pieces. Nothing too much. I want her to be able to fit it in. If she's putting it in like ATC sleeves, which are basically trading card sleeves, I want it to be able to fit in there with no problem. Oops. So just adding, <laughs> my hot glue is being a little stringy, just adding a few little things to it. Well, there it is. I'm going to add my information to the back of it. It's simple, but it's pretty, and I'm happy with how it turned out. Now, I am going to also go ahead and make the embellies that she wants to accompany this. I keep old calendars, and I do all kinds of things with them. And these little images were on the back cover of the calendar, and it's like the little miniature samples that they give you so that you can see each page before you purchase the calendar. So I've had these in my stash for a while and I thought they would be super cute because they're in a travel theme. I have some tropical fabric, so I'm gonna use my hot glue gun and I'm going to adhere a little square of that to the cardstock. And that's just to add a layer of texture and interest. I'd like to add a little bit more to each one of these. So I'm gonna to have to dig through my stash and see what I can come up with. For one of them though, I have this fantastic sticker pack and this is a cactus and the color matches the hot air balloon perfectly. So I'm definitely using that. I have a cottage core sticker book so I'm going to take a look inside here. I found a frog and I thought that would be cute on one of the camping ones because I know when I go camping I frequently see frogs. So I'm tucking it under so he's sort of peeking out of the corner. I think that looks pretty cute. I also found a lantern so I'm going to put that on pink cardstock and then cut that out and that way it won't blend into wherever I use it. I'm currently undecided on where I'm going to use it so I've got it on my desk. I've picked up a flower. I'm going to go ahead and put a little hot glue gun on this flower and then put that on the one right next to the frog. And I think it's kind of cute because he's like the frog's peeking out from underneath the flower. I feel like the upper right hand side's a little bit plain so I grabbed a ladybug sticker and I popped that on there. I finally found a place that I want to put the lantern and it's going to go on this one. and. I think that looks cute. It pops up just a little bit. And then in the other corner, I'm going to go ahead and put a flower. I'm pretty happy with these. I hope she likes them. I want to go back to the one with the cactus because I feel like it's not quite done yet. So I grabbed my gem tack and I'm going to go ahead and add something to the bottom right hand corner. I have some really pretty acrylic flowers. They are flat on the back. And that's why I'm using my gem tack. It holds those sorts of things down really well. So I'm going to put three of the flowers right in the corner of this one. And then that little cluster will be all finished. I'm going to give you a close-up of this one. The glue's not done drying, but I don't think you can really see it too much. But I think that came out pretty cute. This next one says adventure on it. And I want these to all coordinate, but I don't want them to be identical of course well they wouldn't be identical anyway but you know what I mean I don't want them to all be the same so for this one I grabbed some purple flowers 
and I'm going to go ahead and hot glue those onto this little card. Here is a close-up of this one, and I have to tell you, I'm having so much fun with these. And I'm so glad to be making them because I've had these calendar pieces in my stash for several years now. So it's really, really nice to be able to use them. So on the next one, it's got some yellow on it. So I'm grabbing some yellow rickrack, which I have a ton of, and I love rickrack, so it works out great. And I am going to go ahead and frame this with the rickrack. Most of the time I don't worry about cutting things exactly to size. I like to get it down on the paper and then cut it the way that I want it. So that's what I did with the rickrack. And you can see I'm sort of rounding the corners on it. I'm going to finish this one off by adding two more items. Some of you might remember when I made those flowers. That was so fun. And so I'm adding one of those to the bottom right hand side and then a pretty butterfly to the upper left hand side. I could have stopped there, but I decided that more is more. <laughs> so I took two pieces of map, it's vintage map, and I cut them into two small squares, kind of have them layered, put a little hot glue on there, and then I popped that into the bottom left-hand corner. I like the map so much that I decided, decided to cut some more pieces of it and then add them to more of these little clusters that I'm making. All right, my friends, I'm going to show you our makes today. This is the ATC that I made, and now we're gonna take a look at each one of the clusters that I made today. And I used the calendar pieces, I used some stickers, some acrylic flatbacks, some paper flowers, that's what's on this one. Of course, each one is stacked onto fabric. Oh, this I'm throwing in just because I have it in my stash. Today we also used some die cuts and some rickrack. I used stuff from my stash. I did not buy anything to create these little cuties. And I hope she likes them. Thanks for watching. See you soon.